I'm Jennifer and welcome to the Forest Parlor. Today we're going to talk about altars. Now this can be a mysterious, confusing, or even intimidating topic. First, you may not know where to start with creating an altar for yourself or why you would even need one. Do you have the room? Do you need to buy expensive sacred objects? Will your friends stop talking to you the second they see small to medium-sized animals sacrificed on your coffee table? No. Let's back up a second. Altars aren't necessarily large, ornate marble slabs covered in stolen artifacts from the past, though that may be cool. An altar is simply a personal space that you create for you. This is a space to place objects that you have a personal connection to, to invoke a certain vibe, to connect you with the world and the energy around you or the energy within you. So where to start? Do you have a connection with the ocean? Gather shells, sea glass, mermaids, or other items that remind you of how you feel about the ocean and the element of water. If you're more of a forest child, collect leaves or place your favorite plant nearby. A rock from a special hike, acorns, flowers, herbs, and essential oils. It's all about creating a sacred space just for you so that you can visit and be still so you can focus your energy, meditate, do spell work, or just relax. You may change your altar with the seasons, flowers in the spring, greenery in the summer, a riot of leaves in the fall, and holly and mistletoe in the winter. Gather items that have significance to what's important to you. You can add crystals and herbs, such as tiger's eye for good luck and dispelling fears, lavender for happiness and love, birch for healing and fertility. And yes, if you choose to do so, you can add items that represent a deity you wish to work with. And don't forget the candles. Now, where to put it? Altars don't have to be that big. You can place one on an end table or a spot on your dresser. I happen to have one on one side of my vanity at the moment, but for years it was on a lower bookshelf so I could sit in front of it. And certainly don't limit yourself to inside spaces. Your garden or yard could be perfect for you. And if you have even less space than that, I've created pocket altars that I've taken with me and used when needed. They are great for a bit of calm at work or to take traveling with you. So if you feel a need for a sense of grounding or a reminder of what's important to you to connect with, or even if you want to manifest something in your life, consider creating an altar, a sacred space just for you. I would love to see what you create for yourself. So feel free to reach out and share photos of your altar with me. And if you have any questions at all, please reach out for that as well, because I love discussions like this. That's it for now. Please like, follow, share this video, and please visit me again in the forest parlor.